Thank you for your attendance. Right, so we continue for the last part. Uh, chapter number eight. Okay, before that we go through already this one, the packaging, right? Okay, the packaging uh, we go through. Uh. Okay, anyway, how this packaging here is not covered in the exam. Uh. So, uh, this one, you can just apply in your assignment if you want. Okay, no need to memorize how to do this packaging. But anyway, uh, there's nothing much in the packaging here. You just need to put in the import statement and do the package statement here. Okay. Then let's move on for the next one is called API. API means an application program interface. I believe that uh, most other programming languages you're using this API before. Okay, no matter it's the uh, uh, C++ or maybe you're using this uh, web application you learn, you do heard about this word called API, right? Okay, API is someone written the codes. Someone have written the code and you just take it and use it. Example in our Java package over here, we have this java.land, java swing, java utility. Now, example in the code uh, scanner object. Scanner object, do you need to build your own scanner object? All right, you're going to take someone else code then try to implement in your program. So this one is inside the java utility. We call it as a java utility.scanner. If you remember the name, uh, java utility.scanner. So Java UT is one of the example for this API, all right? There's a lot of API in the Java you can try to use for Max Library, I/O, Swing, uh, LAN, Applet, AWT. This one is quite old already. Uh, Applet, Applet, but uh, I believe now no one using Applet anymore. Okay, so uh, just for your info, only we have this Java Applet, Java AWT. If you would like to design this uh, user interface in the desktop application, then maybe you need to use this called AWT. Or uh, we have this one called Java Suite uh, Library. Okay, right? Anyone using uh, GUI in your assignment? Anyone develop GUI in your assignment? I heard from the Miss Aswini, another tutor. Huh? Uh, Miss Aswini mentions uh, yeah, Student using GUI. Okay, so anyway, how the GUI you need to learn by yourself. But there's no uh, extra marks, or we call it as a marks different in the uh, I/O console and uh, this GUI program in your assignment. Okay, we look at this uh, uh, concept applied. The most most of the marks is given based on the OO concept you apply in your assignment. Okay, not because of the user interface. Uh, all right. <coughs> Okay, so this one is just an example for you. Okay, then no need to memorize also. Okay, no need to memorize. It means that as I will ask you, what is a Java.io, what is a Java swing apply using that. Okay, this one is just for your knowledge only. Okay, then framework is the same. Framework, there's a many different framework. Framework means that here also we try to follow the different standard. Example, let's say we create this uh, mapping, right? We will come out the napping project that ask you to choose different different uh, types of project, right? If you remember, we create a new project. We always choose in Java ends. Okay, Java ends. If this is a framework, that means that some standard uh, template already created for you. So we will create a we we'll create a project. It just follow certain kind of templates. Uh. So that one we call it as a uh, framework over here. Okay, so framework also means that some other programmer already written the codes. So you just follow their standard, take it and use it. Uh. Okay, this one. Uh. Okay, nothing, nothing uh, special in this framework. It's just the standard you need to follow. Okay, then design pattern. So here, why we need to use a framework? Because we need to reduce the effort, right? Sometimes, let's say you want to build a project, we do not want to start everything start from zero. If there is a template given to you, you just take it and use more easier. Especially when develop a web page design. Okay, web page design, uh, some template given to you, right? A master page, everything you just take it and use, right? More easier instead of you build everything start from zero. Can get right? Okay, there is a this is what we call a uh, framework over here. All right. Then design patterns over here, of course, we try to uh, make it more 
reusable uh, okay why why we need to learn the OOP the main concept is um, reuse as much as possible okay reduce the coding okay okay next one we call it as a singleton singleton means that uh, in all one project we create one object only for example let's say you would like to connect to a server right how many connections you need to create maybe i have a first form for user login then second form for customer profile third form maybe there is an update a profile and so on okay example like three forms over here three user interface if you would like to connect to the server how many object you need to create does that mean that one form of object for connection you log in to server, right? You create one object, connect to the server. Then now you want to view the customer profile or maybe the user profile. Do you need to create another connection to the server to retrieve the profile? No, right? One connection in number. That means that entire one project, one connection will be due. Okay, so meaning to say in the, uh, in let's say your assignment, you do not need to have uh, so many new statements to create a different object in a different, different form. So create one singleton. Huh? So where to put a singleton, normally we put it on top. Huh? Create as a static. If you did not create it as a static in here, you cannot assess it outside the class. Okay, huh? Let's say this is a connection, I just assume this is a connection. Then now I want to connect to the database to check whether the user name is correct or not without using the static. So you have the three forms, you need to create three different objects inside the three different forms. Okay, so the means that waste out your resources at the end. Okay, this one we call it as a singleton. So singleton usually we using the static keywords. Okay, static keywords, and this object is going to share among different different uh, classes. Okay, right? Okay, singleton. Sir. And next one is a uh, immutable. Immutable means that if you do not want the data to be changed by other user, you want to protect it after create the data. After assign the data, you do not want the data to be changed anymore. So the one we call it as a immutable. One other example here is a string data type. Sir. String data type, as you know, that if, let's say I assign the value for college, a string name college, then later on I'm going to assign this name equal to ABC. Does it mean that the data inside this object is being changed? Or are you going to create another new object? Example in here. Lah. I have one object called name currently assigned to tar college, right? Okay, this one, the object name. Okay, you point to one called tar college. Then later on, you try to, if I try to assign like this name equal to another one, let's say ABC in here. Does it mean that the name change to ABC inside here? Change to ABC? Or are you going to create a new one? Which one? Create new one or change the data directly? The new one. Eh? That means that this data is no longer being... Once you create this data with tar C, this data will not be changed anymore. You get that? There is no setter, there is no getter. After you assign, it's is forever that this tar C is forever that then this one we call it as a immutable class. Okay, right? Immutable means that not changing anymore. Okay. Then uh if you want to create a class immutable, okay, then maybe you try to uh add in the set and get method in here. Lah. Do not uh, provide all method as a private first thing. Okay, first of all, you assemble this string, the string numbers. Everything declared inside is a private. Uh, okay. After you assign the number to the uh, example in here, uh, you create the name for the string. Example, this message, you assign the hello inside. That means that you're using the constructor to set the value. So after you're setting the value, do you have a method called message.setString? They do not have, right? You cannot change the data anymore. Uh, okay. So it means in here, you do not need to have a set and get methods anymore. Okay, right? Okay, not necessary, yeah? not necessary for uh, assessor and mutator once you want to make a class fully immutable. Okay. Example here also same. Uh, once you put in a class, you can see this all is a private. There is no, uh, this one the month and year, right? Month and year, 
this is setting for the new year. The new means I create a new object. Sir. You're not going to change the data directly in this year. Okay, you change the data directly. Okay, create a new object from here. Okay, this is an example, so no more. So anyway, this immutable class also is just for your knowledge only. A singleton, this one, eh? singleton. Where is the singleton just now? Framework singleton and also this immutable class is just for your knowledge only. Can I? But time don't only you study lah. No time you just skip uh, this part. Can I? Okay, then move on. We still have time. Okay, now we try to go through the past year question. Okay, for the past year question, I posted in the Google Classroom. One past year question. Eh? So after today, maybe another set of past year question next week. Eh? You let me know which set of question you want to go to. Anyone try it out? Anyone has tried? Okay. Okay, for past year patient, refer to this one. Okay, refer to this one. Hello. Okay, here. Okay, refer to here. This is uh, October 2022. That means that just over uh, last year. This is a past uh, semester. Uh, short semester, we do not offer object oriented programming uh, for short semester. Long semester only means that uh, uh, SAM 1 and SAM 3 only. Okay, send one and send three only. Stop send, do not have. Okay, now look at the question number one. Differentiate between object and classes. Anyone? What is the difference between this one? You can find easily in your notes. Object is what? Class is what? Definition for class. Class is a template, right? Okay, template is described to how the object behaves. Example for a car. Okay, car is a general term so for the car. Then what are the information to be stored inside the car? Well, how the car behaves? Any method you can try to put it in inside the car? Start engine, stop engine, speed up, slow down. This is a method, right? Then what are the property? You can have a plate number, you have the engine number, what else? Color manufacturer year and so on the one is a car to store the common properties the okay, class is to store the common properties eh? okay then how about the object it's a template to denote the property and the methods eh? then the object is an instance of class instant means that the object a physical uh, entity is a physical entity for the class example let's say we take the car as an example what are the object for the car? They give example, right? The question asks you to provide example. So you need to provide two things here. Right? Definition, two marks. Example, you give correctly two marks. Huh? Okay, right? Four marks in here. Right? One mark for definition, one mark for example. Okay, here the example just now I give is a car. Then definition is a template. It's a template, a template of certain objects. Sir. Then the object here is a instance of the class. Instance of class, one mark. Sir. You're going to mention instance of class, or you're going to say that it's a physical entity for the class. Okay, right? Then example in here. Example, we take the same thing, the car. What are the object for car? Product, right? Product, right? Maybe. Right, Honda. All this is a physical entity for the cars. Okay, right? Try to give, try to give a name. Not my car one, my car two. Uh. <laughs> don't, don't give this new my car one, my car two. Uh. Okay, okay, try to give the name. Uh. Of course, in the class car, you have a name properties. Okay, my V is a name. Then plate numbers, color, manufacturer year, and so on. 
Okay, right? So this question you have to give definition and example. Right? Okay. So sample answer for this one. Very long definition. Of course, in the exam, you don't need to write so long story. Focus to the point. Eh? You can say that class is a template, or we call it as a blueprint. Okay, template or blueprint. This is a keyword we're looking for. Okay, it store uh, the common properties. Car is store. Sorry. The class is going to store the common properties. Example for car. Okay, example here is a car, so you have this uh, registration number, manufacturer years, and so on. Right? Then the object is an instance of class. We're going to look for this keyword, uh, instant. Instant of the class, or we call it as real world entity. Okay, example for this one is a model for the name KPM, uh, Mercedes, Honda. Um, my view, etc. Okay, no need to give so many example. One in number. Okay. Finish. Take down. Okay, right. So question two. Question two in here. Discuss the advantages of using object-oriented programming over structured programming. Structured programming, like what you learned in the C or C plus plus last time. Okay, what is the differentiate over here until now? Until now? From week 1 until today, what is the difference you can see? Activity. Okay, OOP we focus on the activity, that means that the class behavior, the methods. Huh? Okay, whatever you learned last time, you learned the structures only. If else happened, follow. Okay, we focus on that and also the function. Okay, there is no grouping in the function. Everything put it inside the main. But in the object-oriented programming here, we try to group behavior according to the uh, to the class. Okay, to the object side, to the class uh, behavior property. Okay, according to the class. Okay, right? Okay, so this one. Uh, of course, you can get the comparison from these legends. Legend, I believe you see this comparison, right? OOP and procedural programming. Okay, data method are loosely coupled. That means that everything is not inside the same grouping. Of course, you can say that last time I do learn the structure, but structure is not the uh, main focus in your C last time. Eh? Okay, so here we try to do the grouping. Everything try to group together. Eh? Loosely coupled for the data. Software design focus on the uh, method, I mean the how to do the function passing parameter and so on. Okay, so here it focus on the operation, what object can do. Okay, for let's say account, account you need to calculate the interest. Okay, calculate the uh, balance, a total amount. All these uh, we call it as an operation. Alright, example for student, what are the operation for student? Enroll to the subject. Okay, you can calculate the CGPA for the student. Okay, all this up, we call it as an operation or we call it behavior in here. Got it? Okay, so you can try to provide this example or if we do not want to write in the table form, what you can do. Okay, sample answer I get from the previous semester. Very long answer here, but of course you don't need to provide so long answer. First of all, advantages, they ask to provide two, uh, so you can give any two. Okay, first one, modular. Okay, modular for OOP, we try to split it into the different different classes and all the methods inside. 
reusable, of course you can try to mention the reusable. In the object or render, whatever class you declare, you can take it and use it and extend in the future also. But in the C++, it's very difficult. You get that? It's very difficult. You write the function, you can say the function can be reused, but not to the different project. Okay, reuse inside the same project, but not to the different one. But OOP, yes, you can take it, re reuse it uh, in a different project, uh, using the package. Then import the package and do the class reuse. Okay, then this one, okay, you can take down the sample answer. Uh. Increase productivity, increase efficiency. This one you can also mention. This kind of equation is quite a uh, range for the answer. Uh. You can try to give whatever. As long as it's logic, we accept uh, for this kind of equation. Uh. Okay, problem solving, feasibility. Okay, I don't think this one you need to write down. Then, second part of the equation say that um, first one asks to do the comparison. Uh. This one, two advantages, then over the structure for In your opinion, this is a second question. So last time, when I do marking for this paper, many students leave out this one. They just give out the comparison for object oriented and structure programming. That means that the maximum mark you get is only four. Plus three means that the second one. Okay, second one, which one is which programming approach is more suitable? Which one is more suitable? <coughs> Creating a project that are large and complex. OP la. This kind of question asks for cost. This is the answer. La. Okay? The question asking in here, so you have to answer this one, then also justify. Some just give the justify without given which one is the best. That means that one mark is missing. You, get, uh, you need to point out which one object or render or structure programming so object or render then justify the answer so here one marks certification another two marks after the total three marks from here okay right okay, uh, so you can try to look at here this is a sample given large and complex program we try to make a reuse we try to make the data hidden. We do not want other people to come and modify our codes easily. Okay, the two main points. Eh? Of course, reusable is a very important thing here. Any questions so far? This question? Any issue? Okay, yeah, nothing, eh? okay, let's move on. If no patient, move on. Eh? Anything you just stop me. Eh? Okay, next one. Create a memory diagram. What is the meaning for this memory diagram? And also, I can see many uh, your senior didn't draw this diagram. They did not know what is the meaning for memory diagram. What is the memory diagram? They're going to draw the UMR diagram to me. No, uh, UMR diagram and this memory diagram is different. Eh? Memory diagram usually I try to draw. Example, last time I draw the pointer, right? Let's say P is point to one object, then continue this one, uh, deallocate, then point to another object. Something like this. This is what we call a memory diagram. Okay, how the memory is being created. Eh? So in here, First of all, the string 1 equal to tar C. So you have to draw 1, S1, pointer, point to tar, you see here. You get that? 1 pointer, S1, point to tar, you see. S2 equal to tar, you see. It means that it's the same object or different object. This equation is testing on you. Understand um, uh, memory pool and memory heat. Eh? Okay, the memory location. So S1 equal to tar, you see. S2 equal to tar, you see also. So what happened there? S1, point to R, you see. S2, point to another one, or point to the same. The same, one. Eh? Okay, the same thing. Eh? So S2, point to the same R, you see. Then you have a new means what? New string, 
another new object, right? S1, S2 definitely is point to the same thing, then. Eh? S1 and S2 point to the same. Then you have uh, something called S3. New, even though the content is the same. Okay, even though the content is the same, eh? so you get this another new object created called touch you see here. Alright? Then one more, string builder as for this is a new. New means that you create another new object. See that? Eh? Don't make the pointer point to the same thing called tar you see here. Eh? Okay, so example, of course, example, you can just draw the simplified version. In this case, I accept the answer also. Or you want to be more specific, you just list out in here which one is a memory hit, which one is a memory pool. Okay, right? All the data we store inside the memory here. Right? So this portion, this portion is what we call a memory stack. Okay, Tarsi memory stack. Right? So this memory stack is stored under the data called memory pool here. So whatever, sometimes you try to create an array, you try to look for Tarsi is really great. Yes, then the pointer is pointed here. If this is not being created, then it create one more memory stack value called Tarsi here. Get right? Okay, you can try to draw until so specific or you just use a pointer to stroll, it's accept also. Okay, right? Both, uh, both version, uh, simplified version or this one uh, more specific, uh, memory hit, memory pool. Okay, we are looking for this pointer is pointing to the same object and these two pointer is pointing to the different object. Okay, right? Okay, this part. How many marks? Four marks. Four marks is means that one arrow, one marks. Huh? Okay, this one is pointed to here. You don't need to write string one, parse it, you just say S1 point to here, enough. Okay, right? Let's say the string builder, if if the syntax without new also will create a new object. Uh, this is a class. Class is an object. It always create a new one. You always create the word. Let's say you say S5 equal to Tasi. Equal, uh, yeah. equal to Tasi, then create new one. Correct. Okay, create new one. But you cannot say that uh, string builder S equal to S3 uh, because this is a different object. You cannot say that string builder S5 equal to S3 here. See, uh, S3 is a different thing. Uh. Okay, this one memory pool is only for string without the new. Other than that, you need to put in the new, new here using the constructor. Okay, right? Okay, then next one, uh, this one formats. Uh, by referring to the program one, okay, in the program one, there is a collection. Uh, Announcement during the exam, this one array index up or bound exception is wrong. So you close up, change it to aromatic exception. There is a mistake in the question. Eh? Okay. There is no array. Can you find the array here? No array, right? Okay, no array. So array index up or bound, close it, eh? change it to aromatic exception. Okay, this part, eh? change to aromatic exception. Okay, now try to look at this code. We are not checking for the runtime error. Of course, runtime error, you see i equal to zero. You get this runtime error, right? 34 divided by zero cannot be executed. See that? But question asking for compound error. Compound. What are the compilation error you can find from here? Possible compilation error?
Okay, so let's say this is my code. I have this answer A equal to 50. Now, which statement is correct? First, second, third. The first one is A greater than 20. Now you're going to perform something in here. Can I try to write my code else come first? Then do it over here. Can you try to write the statement else come first? No. Then what's wrong in this code? Try to look at the catch exception here. This one change the arithmetic exception. Eh? Okay, so which one should come first? Arithmetic exception come first or exception should come first? Arithmetic exception come first. Eh? If you put exception come first, that means that this below one will never be catched. Okay, eh? Exception is a general. What any kind of error you call it as an exception. Something like if else that means that you do the specific checking first, then if not match, then only you go for general. Okay, la? in here, la? you do the specific checking. After that, if these two conditions is not matched, then only you go for generals. Otherwise, eh? same thing in here. Aromatic exceptions will come first. Eh? Okay, aromatic exception, then exceptions will put it on the bottom. See that? Okay, la? You don't put the general first. You put the general first compiler will tell you the, la the rest, the below one, will never be cached and executed. See that? Okay, so this question asks you to uh, rewrite rewrite the program so you need to put the arithmetic assertion on top, then this one to the bottom. Okay, nah? okay so this one, arithmetic assertion comes first, okay, followed by the last one is an assertion. Nah? How many marks? This question, two marks. Okay, two marks. Of course, explanation, one mark. Nah? Okay, explanation you have to tell why you need to do this way because exception is a general it's a super class for this exception eh? okay arithmetic exception is a subclass okay, right? Something like this, let's say, let's say in this case, uh, um, scanner object, scanner, dot, example this one scanner, dot next, int, next int, next int, next int, okay, or maybe next line, uh. Okay, next slide. Then usually we try to assign something in here, right? Equal to, let's say, the person name. Okay, right? Okay, you're going to cache and you want to store it. But now, you, let's say, I did not put this one. If I did not put that means that you try to read, right? Throw it away. Okay, you're not going to store. So anyway, how this one does not have any issue. You convert 78. is not, Unless this is an A. If this is an A, 
8, uh, if I put the 8 and 8, you cannot convert because this is not a number. It's not number, you cannot pass. Uh. Okay, 78 is a number, yes, you can pass it. Okay, it will cause a, uh, 8, 8 will cause a runtime error. Okay, here. Okay, so move on. Uh. In this one, okay, next, write the method that will receive a string. Okay, this one quite easy. Right method that receive a string and return the total number of consonant. Consonant means what? Other than A E R O U, right? Okay, other than A E R O U, we call it consonant. Eh? Okay, in the given string, either uppercase and lowercase, we don't care either uppercase or lowercase, eh? right? So this question will like you to write the methods. Okay, write the method receiving. Okay, so this one, write the methods in here. Of course, not this answer, not only this answer, you can have your own version. I don't think this is the best answer here. Okay, I don't think this is the best answer, but this question, I'm looking for the function name, return data type, input parameter, okay, and also the answer you return correctly. Of course, the main thing is the calculation here. In a calculation, I can try to use its letter. Its letter is more easier compared to using this one. Okay, what I'm trying to do here, I pass in the string. Let's say I'm passing ABC. Okay, just example, I'm passing ABC. Yeah? So a string dot to lower, why you need to do the to lower? Because the question asking, either uppercase or lowercase, right? We do not want to do so many checking, so we convert everything to lower, or you can convert everything to upper. Okay, nah? either to upper to lower also can. Nah? Okay, then if you convert to lower here, you just check for the A E I O U. I can say that if not equal to A E I O U, I plus one. Okay, nah? rather than doing this one, system dot auto print. No, the question did not ask you to do the printing. Nah? The question asks you to count and return something. See that? Nah? So I don't think this is the best answer, but anyway, how? It's just a sample. You can do one is letter checking here. It's letter checking. Then it's not A, E, I, O, U. Count plus plus. More easier. Okay, right? this one. Static is optional. The question did not say. You can just ignore the static. The question did not say that you must call from the main program. They ask you to write the function only. Any question by looking at this? Why I do the checking in here? Uh, but right, this is not my answer. Now. Why the person doing the checking in here? What does it mean? CH not equal to this one, spacing, closing. Any reason the person do in this way? Just in case the person enter the user, user enter A B C space D E F. Okay, consonant B and C, D and F, right? Is a space considered? Is a space considered? We don't count the space, right? Okay, so if it's not equivalent to space, then only we plus plus. Okay, not equivalent to space, so means that B. If this is an A already fall in this category, eh? if A already fall into the category, the count is not plus plus. Okay, then the second one will be the spacing. In case this is a spacing, we do not need to count plus plus. So that's why I say using its letter is more easier. Okay, here. Can I? This is not the only one answer. La. You can have a better way to write. Okay, let's move on. Differentiate between instant method and static method by providing example for each. The question asking for example. Then what else? Give a situation. Okay, instant and static method. What is the difference over here? Static methods usually got static keywords. Uh, got static keyword. This one no static keyword. Okay. What else? 
just without creating the object. So static can be used without the object being created. Okay, you can direct access through the class name. Okay, right? Instant method in here, you must create the object before you can access. Okay, this is the main difference over here. Huh? And of course, static method we use to access the static data. Okay, when there is a static data, you are using the static methods. Huh? And non-static method we using this. Uh, non-static data member we using this. Okay, so the question give example. Uh, so you need to write the code. The question asks for providing example. So you need to write the code. And also given a situation, the static method is preferred. When you need to create a static method. Of course, just now we say that uh, when there is a static data members. Uh, Okay, if you want to direct access without creating an object, you can create. Okay, static data also means that when there is a variables you're going to share among the different object, then you create as a static data member. Okay, right? Okay, so sample in here. Static data members. You can see from here. Right? Okay, so object dot function one when you say object dot function one means that this is calling to non-static right non-static you can only access to the objects you can see from here okay if this is a static you can call direct through the class name you can see that this is a class name i can say that class name dot function two got this one both get the same result in here like hello hello is two okay the question in here asks you to show the difference so one without the static Without the static, can only access through the object. With the static, you can access through the class name. This is what I mentioned just now. Clear, huh? This one. And also, when the method is preferred, when you have a shared data, okay. Normally, when you have a shared data across all the same classes, do you need to define a static data? Then the method itself should be a static also. A4 plus 2, eh? so 4 mark for example, 2 mark for definition here. Uh, not definition, uh, explanation here. Any patient this part? No? Eh? Okay, eh? no patient here. Okay, then go on. Describe the difference between double equal sign, equals and compare to. Okay, double equal sign, what you're trying to compare? Address. Address, okay. Comparing the reference. Equals. Comparing the contents, the value. Okay, the contents, the value. Compare to. Compare to is compare. Which data is greater or which data is smaller? Greater or smaller? Lah. Okay, it will return the integer data type. This one return true or false. The first one also returning true or false. Okay, the only one return integer is compared to. Then also the question would like you to provide example. So you need to write the example. Lah. Three marks from here. Okay, three marks. Example, one mark definition, two marks. Lah. Three, three, three. So three equals method. Equals method is compare the contents. Eh? The contents inside okay, the object equals. Okay, if this is a string, of course you can say that string one dot equals string two. Eh? Okay, equals method. Then also you need to write the example. Example you can give a short example. No need to write so long main demo here. No need. Eh? Just the string one, string two. Then comparison using this equal will do. Yeah, right? The question did not ask you to write the full program, eh? so you just need to focus on string one, string two. Then maybe this equals enough. Okay, copy down this answer here. It's comparing the contents. Eh? Equals method compare the contents. Then the second one compare to. We need to know which one is greater, which one is smaller. Okay, so let's say equal return zero. Both string are the same, return zero. String one less than string two will return less than zero. Okay, this one return greater than zero. 
positive number, negative number. Correct? Right? Then also compare to missing here. This is compare to, right? Compare to string two. Compare to bracket string two. One example enough, but no need to put so many example here. String two will do. Right, the last one is to compare the memory location, the reference memory location. So again, you don't need to write this uh, main program, you just need to focus string 1, string 2, then using this double equal sign. Okay, right? As long as to demo that you understand how to do comparison, that's all. Okay, here. Alright. Okay, right. You don't need to mention object in the heat or object in the memory stats. Uh, this question I'm looking for comparing reference or memory location. This is a keyword I'm looking for. As long as you mention comparing memory location or you comparing reference, then the answer is correct. Right? Right. Okay, no, nothing left. Okay, no move on. Okay, polymorphism. What is the meaning for polymorphism? Now, your final exam is almost the same thing. Eh? There's a lot of theory, but also you need to give explanation. At least 25 marks on eh? theory, eh? at least. Eh? At least one question, eh? 25 marks. So you need to give something like this explanation. Okay. What means by polymorphism? Polymorphism means many turns, right? In the, the meaning that definition is many turns. So you can give example for two types of polymorphism. You have a polymorphic array. Uh, sorry, polymorphic array already three. Polymorphic array, polymorphic variables, polymorphic method. Three things, eh? Polymorphic array means that one array you can store different different data types. Huh? Let's say I create the array called a person. I can store student, I can store employee, I can store uh, what else? Uh, supervisor and so on. Okay, this is a polymorphic array. Then polymorphic variables. If I create the variables called uh, student, then I can say part time student, I can say uh, full time student. Okay, right? Okay, a variable, sir. Uh, and how about the methods? Polymorphic method means what? The method with the same name but different implementation. You get it? Implementations, why is it different? So this is a polymorphic. So in here, you can try to mention polymorphic array, polymorphic variables, or polymorphic method. Okay, right? Okay, so sample in this one, very long sample. In here, you can see uh, this is talking about object. Okay? Variable is going to hold the object, so you can store a different data type. Subtype and superclass in here, example, the student. You have a part time student, full time student. Eh? Polymorphic method also. Method also mentioned in here. Same signature means that same function, same function name, eh? but different way to implement the data. Okay, this one. Uh, sir, <coughs> you haven't discussed the question B. Ah, question? Question B. Question B is what? Uh, abstract class. Oh, abstract class. Abstract class cannot be instantiated in case. Why abstract <laughs> class do you need to have a constructor? Okay, this one I mentioned in the lectures also. As red class, you do not need to create, a, you cannot create an instant, right? You cannot say that as red class uh, equal to something like this. Eh? Example, I create a class A is an as red.
Okay, without the extract, this is a plus A. Then normally we have a constructor, right? Okay, I pass in the data, then I do something in here. This is a constructor. So normally the constructor this one, eh? then we can try to create this A equal to new A. Then pass in the data in here. Construct. Okay, for constructor, constructor load. Okay, so for constructor, the usage for constructor is to initialize the data. Eh? Okay, eh? The main purpose for constructor is to initialize the data. So now I'm creating this object A. I want to initialize the data. So in here, when I see there's a new keywords in here, means that it will automatically involve the constructors. Can I? It involving the constructors in here. But what happens if I make this as an abstract? Once you make it as an abstract, can you try to create the instance anymore? Abstract class means that this class is not complete. When a class is not complete, you cannot create the object instance. Get, uh? So there is no way for you to use a new method in here. Okay, you cannot use a new one. Uh? So why we still need to have this constructor? Since you cannot create the object, then there is no way for you to pass the data, right? But why you still need to have this constructor? Okay, the question asking why abstract method can have a constructor in Java. Class B, B stem from A. When B stem from A, okay, this is a super class right here. When this is a super class, maybe I call this function x inside here. Lah. Okay, there's a data variable x in here. Now, when you have a constructor for this B, how many data you need to pass in? How many data you need to pass in? Assume that there is no more extra data in B. Eh? I still need to pass in this variable x, right? Okay, eh? I still need to pass in this data because when you have this data inherit to B, that means that B also have the data for x. Okay, so now when I pass in the data, where to store this data? This data need to give to the parent class to store, right? Okay, so I need to call this constructor. I still need this constructor to pass data from the subclass to the parent class by using the keyword called super in here. Okay, even though you cannot create the instance for A, but you still can create the instance for B passing in the data, and this data will be stored inside class A. You get that? So in here, how to answer this? The equation B. Be here for the subclass, eh? you still need it for the subclass to use. Okay, clear this part. Okay, even though you do not have a uh, a new keywords cannot be used up, but it's still valid for some class. Okay, move on. Okay, assume that we have three classes student, undergrad, and postgrad. Undergrad, postgrad are both subclass for the student. Which of the state uh, which of the assigned above is illegal or legal? State the reason why. Okay, the first one is legal or not. U, U is undergrade, P is postgrade, S is student. Eh? Okay, U equal to new undergrade. This is valid? Yes, yes this is valid statement. Eh? Okay, because the object U itself by default is undergrade, so you create the instant undergrade, is same data type. Same data type, no issue. Then S equal to U. Is S as a student, uh, you is undergrad. Is undergrad a student? 
undergrad is not student. Undergrad student, right? Undergrad is a student. They say that this one, eh? both subclass for student. Eh? Both is a subclass for student. Okay, so undergrad student also considered is a student. So this is correct. Okay, this is a superclass. U is a subclass. Eh? S is a superclass. Okay, then P equal to post grade U. Can do so. No, eh? U is undergrade. Undergrade cannot convert to post grade. Post grade is not the parent for undergrade or it's not a subclass for undergrade. So you cannot do the conversion in here. Okay, no way, right? So this is wrong, right? Different data types, right? Undergrade, post grade, two different things. Unless it's a parent class, you can do conversion. Okay, this is not the parent class, no uh, subclass, so you cannot do conversion. Okay, so this statement is wrong, right? Illegal. The S equal the new post grade. Can I not? Post grade can assign to S. Post grade is a student, right? Okay, post grade is student, correct. So this is valid. U equal to new student. U is undergrade. New student? No. Not all students undergrade. Okay, nah? Not all students is undergrade. Nah? You cannot say new student. New student is a parent. And the undergrade is a subclass. You cannot assign parent to sub. Sub assign the parent is okay. But parent cannot assign to Subclass, uh, let's say uh, in your notes say that fruit and apple. Okay, fruit and apples. All kind of apples is referring to the fruit. But not all fruit belong to apple. Okay, so not all students belong to this undergrad. Uh, so this is wrong. Okay, U and S. U and S. Wrong. Uh. This is wrong. But it's possible if you want to do the casting. Possible uh, student, possible is undergrade student. Okay, so you can put the casting in here. But if we do not put the casting here, this is wrong. Okay, so this one. So it's now. Okay, here. So 0.5 inch. Okay, then move on. Question 3. Normally, question 3 and question 4 ask you to write the codes. Okay, question 3, look at the question. This is related to the decapping. Regular decats, general emission decats. VIP decat is a decat that allows to choose the seat. Total 100 VIP decat, okay. Regular decat rate 130 ringgit. VIP 500 ringgit, okay. System developer, you are required to develop the system. VIP decat plan. This is an output you need to generate. Yeah, decap price as crude. Government tax, service tax. Government tax 5%, service tax 15%. Okay, assume that the Java class have been shown in the figure 3. Okay, decap type class is given. This is a sample output, sir. Sample output, let's say in here, uh, and the 2, 2 is a regular decat. And this is a VIP decat. Then followed by output in here. So I have show total decat show is 2. VIP decat just now I mentioned in here 100, sir. 
total 100 if the person already purchased one ticket for uh, VIP the remaining is 99 okay see the question asks you to show the result right VIP ticket left and the total ticket purchased Okay, so now this patient ticket type is given. Just example, uh, this ticket type is given. Okay, what you need to do in here, in the face, in the face file. Okay, what you need to put under the interface file here. Which one you think is more suitable to put under the interface? Remember what contained inside the interface. What you need to put under the interface file. Two things, right? One constant. Second, abstract method. Okay, try to look for the constant. Any constant here you can define. Ah, uh, carbon tax. VIP. Okay, this one you can put. This one you can put. Uh, but not all the cap is VIP. Okay, these two is fixed in here. Carbon tax and service tax. Uh. Okay, all the taxes. I can call this interface file is a tax interface. So you have uh, many different kinds of tax inside. Lah. Okay, government tax, uh, service tax. Okay, constant data, lah, 5% and 15%. This part I can put it under my interface file. Okay. Okay, now VIP ticket, you 100 maximum, right? This is a constant also, but we put it under VIP class. Okay, VIP class. Eh? This one is belong to everyone in general. It can be VIP, it can be uh, non-VIP. Okay, non-VIP you still need to charge for the tax. VIP you also need to check. Uh, you, you need to charge for the tax also, right? So in general, so these two put it inside uh, in the face file. Okay, any methods you can try to put it in? Look at the equation. First of all, in the face. Okay, we try to do abstract super class called ticket. Okay, this one we need to find out the abstract methods. Huh? Okay, first of all, huh? this one the tax, huh? government tax, survey tax, you put it under the interface. One mark only. Huh? One mark only. The abstract super class name called ticket, you need to have all these things. Data members, total ticket sold. Constructor with maximum. This one you need to have one constructor only. So default constructor no need. Eh? Default constructor no need. The equation say that a constructor with maximum data parameter. Abstract method called calculate price. Okay, so now try to look at the sample code given in here. Okay, for interface. This one. Eh? Interface, I can create the charges. Okay, the charges, or I can call it as a tax. See, the question did not say what is a class file name. Okay, so you can give any name. But here we can store two things of government and uh, service tax 5%, 15%. Okay, this part, one marks only. Then next one, the question asking for ticket class. Okay, so we have ticket class. Okay, the question asking for abstract superclass. So this class you need to put it as an abstract. The name is called ticket. Okay, abstract superclass called ticket. What you need to have inside that the data members. Okay, for this data member we have two things here: ticket type and total ticket sold. Okay, two parameters. So here. Ticket types and total ticket sold. Okay, we should follow this name. Uh, total ticket sold. Okay, we prepare the answer. You put in a uh, total ticket sold. Data type. What is the data type? Integer data type and ticket type. Okay, integer data type, ticket types. All right. Okay, here. Then the constructor with maximum, okay, this is a constructor, then you need to put it in the maximize constructor.
okay starting keyword is either or not the question says static or not the question does not mention anything wrong right let me check right equation do mention static or not if no then you can put it as a normal data type this one and this one Okay, the question did not mention anything. So up to you. Up to you. If we did not put the static, we normally accept for solar if the question did not mention. Okay, here. Then the important things here, the question say that abstract methods called calculate price. So we need to come up one abstract method called calculate price here. <coughs> Two, three method. Okay, two three method. So you put in the two three method. Two three method we not really check for this slash n. In the exam, if we did not put the slash n, we assume it's correct also. There's no compiler for you to compile in the exam. So as long as you print up the data, no matter in the horizontal or vertical way, as long as it's a two string and you put in the data, then consider correct. Okay, uh? We do not want to check until so specific like this question. They do give you the example mm -hmm. output, right? Okay, I don't need to calculate. Okay, here must have a slash n, then here do not have a slash n, and so on. So we don't care. So string, very long. Take down this one. Then the behind here, the data. Okay, yeah. this part or uh, later on you can copy this one also. Okay, let's continue. Other than this, the two subclasses regular decad and VIP decad which include appropriate data members. Okay, what are the data members you can find from here for regular decad? Regular decad in here. A regular ticket is a general admission ticket. Meanwhile, the VIP ticket allows me to choose a number. Okay. Yeah. VIP ticket need to choose a number. Huh? But of course, this price you need to store inside there. As a regular ticket, you need to know what is the price. Okay, you can create a constant. Now, this one and this one, you can create a constant inside these two classes regular and VIP. This one, eh? regular and VIP. Okay, right? Okay, calculate test in here. Calculate price. Sorry, calculate price. Calculate price, you need to add this survey test and uh, so it's not survey test, a government test. Uh, government test, survey test, uh, include these two. Okay. So, regular ticket as time from. Regular ticket as time from where? Yeah. From ticket. Okay. Then, implement. The text. Okay, implement this in the face power. Okay, so same thing for this VIP ticket. Uh, you need to do the same. The method to return the VIP ticket left for VIP class. Okay, for VIP class. Okay, so now this one. Okay, try to look at the code, sir. If you don't follow, you let me know. <coughs> Regular ticket, this one, uh, you can use the implement, uh, implement uh, the charge, implement the charge there. I think mean, this question did not use. Uh. Uh, anyway, you put it in here also correct. Uh. As time ticket implement the charges. Okay, ticket is one type of chargeable uh, objects. Uh. Okay, you can try to put in this case. But anyway, how if we did not put still working in here because there is no abstract methods. It is an abstract method different case. Huh? In here, we just have a constant data. Okay, many possible answers. Huh? This one is not the only answer except. Huh? In the answer, you don't need to put these keywords. Huh? Waste time. Waste time. You only have two hours, so no need to write so... Perfect. 
Okay, right? See ya. Okay, sometimes the answer also not so like that. Huh? This one have implement, this one have implement. It should be an implement here. Huh? Implement, implement to make it consistent. Any question this class? Regular decad? No, uh? those questions do not ask you to do, no need to waste the time. Uh? You have only two hours in the exam. Uh? So the question, try to look at the question in here. They say that uh, a public data, ma data member, so you need to put in the data member. The question also asking for the constructor with maximum. So means that default constructor, you no need to write. Uh? Okay, right? No need to waste the time to write the default constructors. Eh? And I believe here, say, get the setter as group, right? As group, then no need to waste time to put in the set and get method also. Eh? Okay, read the equation eh? as group. I can see uh, many of your senior do put in the setter and get it. And at the end of the exam, they tell me not enough time to do. Of course, right, you put in all these things, no marks there. Okay, nah? So in the same answer, you did not see the set and get methods in here, nah? just uh, um, the core methods. Uh, sir, for the implement interface, can we put the can we put this on the abstract class instead of the derived class? Which one? Implement. Implement charges. Can I put, uh -huh. it, can I put it on abstract class instead of here? <laughs> put it on abstract. The mean in the ticket. Uh, yeah. In the ticket, can also, can also because it's just a constant, it's just a constant, can also. Okay, it means the question asking, uh, can I put this implement charge? I don't want to put it here. Since no matter it's a regular ticket and VIP uh, ticket, you still need you still need to calculate the charge, right? You still need to calculate the charge. So implement, you can put it here also can. All kind of decad have a charges. Okay, so you can put it here also. Don't if you put it on top, that means that you don't need to put implement again this decad, uh, VIP decad and regular decads anymore. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, that you can put in the final keywords if you want. Let's say just now the charges are this one 130 ringgit and 500 ringgit. You want to create a constant? Yes, you can put it as a constant. Eh? Okay, there's no no restriction saying that you must do it in this way as long as the answer is correct. Eh? Okay, then next one, this one. Method calculate then to three method. Okay, complete the missing parts. Complete the missing part here. Okay, the coding. Eh? The sample coding is given to you but not complete. Then you have to do it, make it complete and print out the answer look like this. Okay, look like this. Eh? Okay, so sample, just a partial code here, so you need to complete this part. Now, other than this way, what else you can use? I believe in the notes of Franca, we're selling you this way, right? What other method you can use? <laughs> yes, instant off. Okay, you can use an instant off. Huh? See that? Huh? This one is to get the data types. Get the data types. You can use an instant off. If you're not sure how to use this, Okay, yeah, done, huh? Okay, move on. 
Many to many uh, in the coding, in Java coding, not necessary. Okay, not necessary in here. Okay, yeah? Just to show the class relations only. Okay, not like your ERD diagram, first level, second level, and so on. Okay, then move on in here. After the ERR diagram, differentiate between the composite and aggregation. So, which one is a strong relation? Which one is a weak? Composite, strong relation, uh, has a relationship. Uh, okay, both is a has a. Aggregate composite, both has a relationship. But here, this one is a strong relation, then this is a weak. Strong means that one observed described, another will be described also, no longer as it. Uh. Okay, aggregation, the main object describes the second object uh, still there. Okay, aggregation. Using Java code, okay, using Java code, you need to write the coding. Okay, write the code to represent this answer. Okay, again, you don't need to write so complicated in here. I accept this answer, how are we going to mark that? Huh? As long as you say any example not necessarily represent, you can have a student, you can have any other thing. Get that? Okay, any other example, so I'm looking for this one. This one must be object. If you put string, then it is not correct. Constructor, setter, getter, no need to show. Okay, this part no need to show. Okay, I'm looking for the class name and this data type, that's all. Okay, this one you no need to provide also can. Okay, that person and job. Person and job, what kind of relationship? Has a relation, right? Okay, that person has a job. Okay, this person owns this job. Right? Then another one, employee and address. Okay, employee, address. Of course, this ID name you don't need to show. Lah. No need to show. This constructor, no need to show. You just need to show me the class name and this one will do. Okay, the tick here, the red color tick. Composite, aggregate, uh. composite, aggregate. Okay, as I mentioned just now, some answer is quite arguable. Can I say this is an aggregation instead of composite? Yes, yeah. right. If the person does not exit, this job is still there. Okay, if you look for the job straight, the job is still there even though the person is not there. Okay, right? A uh, better way you put this ID. Or maybe we call it as an IC. So IC, you can try to split it up into the IC uh, number, uh, date of birth, uh, the state code, and also the number. Uh, the IC, you can try to divide into three parts. Or maybe you give the example of student. Then this one is a student ID. Student ID have three prefix, right? W is that for main campus. Okay, then followed by certain numbers. Uh, number of characters, a number of digits for your student ID. Okay, 0, 09 is indicate the intake year. Then W is for uh, KR member. Then the others one is for your ID number. Okay, you can give any other example. Like, more clear example. But anyway, how this one I accept also. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one no need to show also can. This one no need to show. The important thing one is employee address. I'm looking for this. Okay, what else? Okay, no more. This is a uh, passing question for this. Okay, for next week, which side of passing question you want to go through? One more side. 2002? 2002? 2023. 